Hey everyone, uh, my name's Kyle and I'm a front end, senior front end engineer at Glassdoor. And uh, I want to tell you how I got to this point. Um, so just a little background on me. I don't have a college degree. I'm fully self-taught. Um, and this is just a little career story of uh, going from basically minimum wage to now making uh, more than average in the Bay Area. Um, and we'll get to that at the end. So uh, just before we even get into my professional career, uh, it's worth noting that I was always interested in, in web development um, since junior high. I uh, had a MySpace profile, found out you could edit the CSS and add some scripts in there. And that's basically where my interest got started. I started making the coolest MySpace page you can make, looking up different CSS values. And that's really where I learned the basics of CSS and a little bit of just script, putting in scripts and stuff like that. Um, so then uh, in my junior high, I was lucky enough to have a, a tech, a web tech class. It was pretty general, but uh, the teacher was really good and uh, learned um, how to make basic websites and learn how to use uh, Adobe Flash and made a, made a little video game with uh, Adobe Flash, that was a lot of fun. And that's kind of how I got interested in programming in general. Um, and then high school had another class, uh, but at that point I'd just been playing around with it so much that at that point I was basically teaching the class. Uh, I, I knew a little bit more than the, the teacher did, uh, making basic websites with forms, using PHP, and stuff like that. And then uh, right after high school, I had my first client. It was uh, my friend's dad. He had his own business and he wanted a website and I was the only guy uh, that he knew. So uh, my friend and his dad came to me and uh, I built them a little basic brochure website with a form on it and did that was from PHP and put in some uh, jQuery slider plugins to have a nice little background um, slider going on there with all these pictures that we got from uh, we purchased all the device to these pictures and that was that was a good experience I don't know, like 500 bucks or something like that uh, but it was a good entry uh, and then after that you know I was working um, fast food places and like uh, Toys R Us and stocking you know basic first-time jobs and then I got my first job at a tech support as a tech support role at a website builder company. So basically we built websites, we had a bunch of templates and they could have custom ones too. And then a lot of times people who had templates wanted custom things on their site. So then they called tech support, that was me, and then used like jQuery to basically add custom things to the website. And we needed to know, you know, how to inspect the page and how to make changes to it um, that weren't necessarily just changing the input field. Um, so I learned, I think that was my first professional start into the entry. Um, and then I, I was only there for six months or so because I was basically making like a dollar more than minimum wage and uh, they had promised to give me more and everyone's kind of jumping ship and they weren't giving me more. So I left that for another tech support company at a fitness web software company. Uh, so they basically, this company had uh, a fitness software online. It was built using Angular. I didn't learn any Angular at all, um, but I was a tech support. I had to inspect things. I had to use JavaScript to do custom things that people wanted to whatever part of the software they were using. Um, but I moved up quickly in, in that company. Um, I just started making apps that helped everybody. I made like a cool little scrum board app and using Meteor. So that was a good opportunity for me to learn things on the job because uh, I was able to experiment. And so I picked up Meteor and made a little um, cool scrum board application and that, you know, the company liked that. And so they promoted me and then pretty soon I was making and um, making WordPress websites for them. Um, they, they had like a ton of different Word, uh, WordPress stuff and a lot of marketing based material. Um, so I learned Facebook ads and Google ads and how to make funnels and how to get people's email addresses and then put them in some other software and using CRMs and then doing all these custom integrations between all these different softwares. It was a lot of tinkering. It was a lot of just figuring things out, how they worked, but uh, it was a lot of fun. I was there for about two years or so. Um, and then after that, I decided to freelance a little bit. Um, so I went on um, Upwork and 
Uh, a lot of people say you can't really make a good living off Upwork. Um, I beg to differ. It, I mean, I at first it's hard. You can't right away because no one really trusts you. Why, why should they pay you a lot of money to do good work if they don't know you can do good work? So uh, at the beginning, I would say, you know, you got to take on a lot of small things just to gain reputation. But after you start doing a lot of these small things and you get a lot of ratings and reviews back, um, then you start getting bigger offers and bigger contracts. Um, and so I was making, you know, a living, uh, I'll be a, like a, a bare minimum living. Um, and then, uh, but I was mainly doing a lot of fixing PHP stuff, WordPress stuff, JavaScript stuff. A lot of times people will get screwed over and then come there asking for someone to help fix it. I did a lot of that. Um, and then after about three or four months of doing that, I hated it because you always have to be finding work and that's half of the job is finding work. Um, after three or four months, I got a, uh, a long time contract offer um, with a, a friend of mine from the first tech support job that I had. He got contracted, so I was subcontracted through him, um, and that was a decent gig. Got paid a little bit more, it was a little bit more secure, but still a contract job. Um, and when working there, I learned Laravel, and, uh, which is a PHP framework, and um, made a lot of web apps with that. And then I learned Vue, Vue.js right along with that, because it kind of ties in hand in hand with Laravel. Um, and so that's how I got introduced into like the JavaScript application um, framework, and uh, I, I really liked working with it. It was a lot of fun. And so then um, after that, you know, it's only it's probably six, four months after that, and it's a contract job, so it's, it can end whenever. Um, so you always got to be looking for a steady job too. So um, it's funny. I, I like to mention that I had an interview with a company in San Francisco who are offering 120,000 as a front end engineer. And uh, if you don't live in San Francisco um, or the Bay Area, you'll know, you won't know that. That's actually a pretty low offer. Um, with 120K as a front end engineer, it's on the low end if you look at Glassdoor. Um, you'll see that it's gonna be kinda, you'll probably be sharing, sharing a room with someone if you wanna live within an hour of the city. Um, yeah. So, but anyway, I failed the interview. I, I did. I was a terrible interviewer. Uh, that phone interview I had, I made a stupid mistake. I said I would do some test to figure out some problem, and it was a terrible answer. <laughs> but anyways, it's uh, it's good I didn't get that job because fate had something else in in mind for me. So after that, I had a couple other interviews. I had one interview in Newport Beach. I'm, I was currently in Riverside. Um, and this offer was for 55,000. Uh, so that would be a two hour drive in traffic there, two hours back. And uh, I mean, I, I was kind of desperate at that point. I, I needed it, so I was willing to do it. I was about to take it. And then uh, this other interview I had, um, he, I, I, I took it and I did really well, but I didn't hear from him for like two weeks. And then he hit me up that literally the week I was, the week before I was about to start at um, this other job in Newport Beach and he said hey you know just let you know we're still looking to, to hire um, we're just waiting to hire someone else and then I, I was like oh well I just got this offer in over here um, what was the salary range be like for the that job and he was like oh uh, it'd be somewhere between like 90 and 110,000 I was like I'm gonna go do the interview now. Can we do it now? So uh, I don't accept this fifty-five thousand dollar offer. And he's like, "Yeah, come come in tomorrow." And I'm like, "Great!" So drove all the way down there, had the interview, nailed it, um, and got an offer later that day for one hundred and five thousand as a front end engineer. And took that, called the other company, and said, "I can't do that fifty-five thousand with no relocation or anything." Oh, and that one hundred five that also had relocation, had bonuses, had you know, I had a lot going for it. So took that um, and uh, worked there in San Diego for a year and that went really well. I learned a lot. Uh, it was a complete Greenfield project. So um, I chose React. I was, I was number two engineer there and the only front end engineer starting off. And uh, by the end, we, it was like a team of 16 engineers there. So um, it was a lot of fun. Um, but I learned React, learned MobX, State Tree, learned Jest for testing. I learned a lot about AWS. I, I even learned a little bit of Python for some backend stuff. Um, I learned Jenkins and Jira, the whole tech stack. How and this is like the first actual software 
team that I was on and there was so much to learn just not even like tech but just like um, the tech around tech to, to help you you know work get your workflow going and get everything up and running working along with other software engineers um, it was a good time a uh, good deal a year later um, you know I'm technically still a little underpaid um, so I'm starting to look around um, and uh, I end up getting a couple different offers. I interviewed at a couple places. Uh, I had one offer in New York, uh, and I had uh, my current job actually gave me a really good pay raise. Um, and then I also got another offer from Glassdoor in San Francisco, um, which is ultimately the one I took. Uh, I've been working at Glassdoor for a little under six months at the point of this video. Um, but so now, um, I'll put a screenshot up here, but now basically, I, I'm not gonna say the exact salary I'm making, just for the company's sake, but there's a salary range that we give. I mean, working at Glassdoor, I should know all the salary ranges and what's expected and what's average and you know what to negotiate for and all of those kind of things. Um, so I'll put a screenshot up of the average senior front-end engineer. Um, there's a little like bands of minimum and maximum. I'm, I'm, I'm on the higher end of that. Um, with bonuses and stocks vesting in a few years and retirement plans and insurance, good deal. Um, so that's basically how I went from essentially minimum wage to now making a good, uh, good, so a good um, salary in San Francisco as a software engineer. Um, so yeah, if, if I can do it, anyone can do it. Um, I think the, the main thing to take away is that it's all on you. If you're not gonna go, so the thing is with a college education, it's expensive, but it gives you your it gives you a foot in the front in the door, because a lot of companies will just hire interns straight out of college because they know they have a base um, understanding of uh, computer science and you know they know how software works in general, so they figure oh they can learn uh, the rest of the stuff pretty easy. But when you come from no college experience, it you pretty much have to learn everything on your own, um, and so you know technically I had. 12 years under my belt by the time just from from junior high and starting but in professionally I had like four or five years of experience um, before I got this job uh, so it's a long road but it's a very fun road um, especially once you get you know towards the higher end of things and you can start negotiating salaries and getting good bonuses and deals um, it's a lot of fun I love this career path and uh, it might be the right one for you just know it takes a lot of dedication but it's definitely worth it. It's one of the higher end, um, higher paying roles that uh, we have in America, at least. Um, so I think it's definitely a really good career path for anyone to join. I hope this uh, video helped you out. Let me know if you have any questions down below in the comments and uh, I'll get back to you. Um, hopefully I should be commenting on this video uh, for a while. Um, but yeah, let me know if you have any questions. See you later.